The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, UNU Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Rock Talk. We have an exciting night tonight. It's all going to be Led Zeppelin, a tribute to Robert Plant. There's going to be some honey drippers and some of his new stuff off the Carry Fire. What do we have up on the on the lineup? Jim. Carry Fire. What's that from his new album? Uh huh. It's on our list tonight. I just didn't know which order it was it's tonight. The first one. First one. Okay, so we're going to kick off the night with Carrie Fire. Hope you enjoy it. I sure do. Just like, just like 
With me, Aimster and Company, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, on Armed Radio Global, Home of Night Talk, with Joe Rocks. 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 Everyone, you got the 215L. Okay. Doesn't matter what kind of sandwich, Joe, I'll explain later. Thank you, sir. Jimmy Johns. Come in. Sir, did you know your house is on fire? Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Jimmy Johns. Come in. Sir, did you know your house is on fire? Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Jimmy Johns. Come in. Sir, did you know Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Yes, I did. Grab a bucket. Fire department. Come in. Sir, did you know you're... It's okay, Captain. We got it handled. Care for a sandwich? Thanks, but tell me something. Chip, why did you call the fire department first? I did. Jimmy John's, America's favorite sandwich delivery. Channel switch. And welcome back to Rock Talk. We have our hell-bent for weather man here, Clinton Dye. He's going to tell us about the local shows coming up and the weather, if we should bring a coat or what have you. Welcome to the show, Clinton. Hi ho, rock fans! So, how's your week been? Well, my week. Uh, well, was it uh, last week? Was out in uh, the middle of America, America mm-hmm. um, Nebraska, and Iowa for a family reunion out there in Cherokee, Iowa. And uh, you know, it's kind of neat to cruise across the country a little bit. I mean, of course, I flew in and drove, flew to Omaha, then drove in and hung around those those two states and stuff. But it's kind of neat when you pop through these. Uh, little hole in the wall towns and Main Street, any town USA kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I definitely stick out like a sore thumb. They know I'm from California, you know. <laughs> with my, with my open mind and my, and my talk, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but it's fun, you know. It's neat. Go check it out, little tractor shows and hot rod shows out there and, um. Right on. You know. Yeah, it's fun. It's good. Uh, it's good to explore a different area, you know. Okay. Makes you appreciate where you live and where you come from, and exactly uh, all that. Never forget where you're from and uh, appreciate where you're going. I always say. That's right. That's right. So, how's the weather been? Well, out there was um, hot, sweet, and, and sticky. sticky. Balls, <laughs> hot balls. You know, oh my god! You come out of your hotel, you know, freshly showered and everything. And, uh, boom, all of a sudden you're wet again, you know, in like two seconds. That humidity is, is, uh, ridiculous. But, uh, thunderstorms and rain out there is gorgeous. Like, oh my God, the whole sky lights up. Oh. It's amazing. You definitely don't want to be, like, holding anything metal out there when there's a lightning storm. I'd love to take some pictures out there. That would be awesome. Oh, I always love sleeping with the windows open and just hearing it. Oh, just I watching know. the flashes. It's, it's amazing. It's definitely Mother Nature, like, uh, as powerful as it gets, it's beautiful, like yep. crazy. But around here, we don't get all that, you know. What we get is uh, no rain. We're back to almost drought conditions here in California. So and these fires. If you have dry grasses around your property, uh, debris and things, you know, definitely cut yourself a fire break around your your place if you live in like you know more rural area a little bit. Um, it's no joke. There's a lot of wildfires going on here in California. They're sparking up like like no other you know yeah, so it's been horrible. be aware don't be throwing your cigarettes out the window people 
you know you know i i have like a feeling i have a feeling that that's how a lot of it starts just inconsiderate people yeah i mean if it's in yosemite and stuff you get a wildfire in the middle of the summer it's a lightning strike or something and that's legit you know that's fine yeah. that's mother nature doing its thing right but um but we're getting all these senseless fires out there it's screwing up our air quality the one alongside um, the the freeway day before yesterday by livermore that was horrible Oh, yeah, they closed no, the road for six hours. That. Yeah, no, my buddy's wife was stuck in that, and it was just, what do you do? You don't have your supplies in your car, but, you know, knowing this stuff kind of could happen. I mean, you know, definitely keep a few bottles of water in your trunk, a little, a couple of granola bars or something. Yeah, I have you that. you never know <laughs> if you're going to get stuck in that stuff. I mean, the water's going to be hot, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, guys, we got it easy. If we're stuck in traffic, we could just, you know, fill up a, a bottle or, you know, pull it exactly. out on the side of the road or whatever, you know, but it's just not that easy for everybody. And, you know, and if you don't have air conditioning, you're really in trouble. Yeah, you know? that would be miserable. Yeah. So, but allergies too, is just, uh, it's horrific right now too. You know, as things dry out, we get new pollens and uh, dry grasses, you know, just the dust in the air too. Like when I came back from the trip, geez, you know, the car was just covered in ash and dust in my neighborhood. Yeah, that's how it was here. We went out uh, basically chasing the fire to get some footage. We got some good pictures, and uh, yeah, the sky it was just a trip. Um, it was it was pretty uh, amazing and intense to be right there, so close, and to see it. And yeah, so <laughs> we yeah. we uh, went to the sunflower field over in Dixon and and took some photos there. And the sky just looked ominous, and it made great photos, but you could just tell that something was amiss, you know? Oh, yeah. It wasn't no, photoshopped. Flying, it was, that was real. Flying back into Oakland from, uh, I don't know, Omaha via Las Vegas to Oakland or whatever. Geez, coming back in, it was at sunset time. Oh, wow. It was some beautiful shots. I, you know, of course, I'm going to pull my phone out on the plane, but snapping some photos, you know, just crappy photos through the iPhone thing. Um, it is amazing. I mean, what it does to the sky is pretty beautiful, I'll tell you that. But we'd mm -hmm. rather not have that. Office, yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, keep our friends and neighbors safe, you know, from fire, of course. Did you but, hit any shows when you were there other than the tractor pulls? and? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Corn Festival and whatever the hell... Uh, <laughs> Whatever the hell, Iowa. I got a couple I love corn stickers. And right on. Corn cup koozies. Woo! Did you, know? did you come home with a hat? No. Forget that shit. But I did go uh, talk <laughs> about the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska, which is uh, one of the top zoos in the country. It's beautiful out there. Yeah. I got to see monkeys and monkey butts and, you know, all kinds of uh, critters and creatures. So, But the Henry, yeah, that's one of the top zoos. That's beautiful. They do a great job out there, honestly. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, but on the fun note, we got a lot of good shows coming up here. Right on. Tell me yeah, about them. Absolutely. Saturday, July 14th at the Crest, Sacramento, 7.30 p.m. we got John Travolta, Saturday Night Fever Band rocking. That should be a fun one. Right on. Get your, get your boogie dancing shoes on. <laughs> you know, it should cool off a little bit by, uh, by showtime, but uh, you're not going to need a sweater or anything out there if you're in the Sacramento Valley House, you know. Yeah, it's well. Unless you go inside of a grocery store or anything like that, you know. Now, I heard there's like a 10% chance of rain on Saturday in Napa. Yeah, it's, uh, we got, well, we had a little, uh, what was it, a hurricane thing kind of rolling up through Mexico and stuff. So we're getting some weird, um, some weird stuff kind of going on. I was driving back from uh, Antioch or something the other afternoon. It was super hot and it started sprinkling on me, which is weird. So we got this, little system that we're get, kind of getting the tail end of that so but it's not going to be uh it's not it's not enough to wet your lawn or anything like that okay you know? my sister's in uh, mexico right now on vacation tell her don't smuggle anything back nah she won't <laughs> how's she gonna get over the wall oh that's not built yet i forgot yeah <laughs> uh we got some other good stuff going on uh if you've got to roll out to old uh sports nevada over at uh, Murmurs out there, Saturday, July 14th, rocking. We got a Judas Priest, uh, Judas Thieves playing, tribute band. Oh, they're Black great. Water and uh, Unchained, Alice in Chains tribute band. So they're going to be rocking the show out there. That should be a fun one. It, they are very, very good. 
you know, all those guys are great. And, uh, you know, I'm hell-bent for the Judas Steves, of That's course. right. Damn Skippy. Uh, also on Saturday, if you're in the Napa Valley, over at Silos at the Napa River Inn, we got Paco playing. Nice. Uh, they've been rocking it for a long time out mm-hmm. there, so uh, don't be afraid to check them out. Uh, they have two shows, actually, that night. You know, one at 7, then another at 9.30. So uh, if you can't make one, check out the other. Uh, that should be beautiful. If you're Silos there, is a really nice a venue, too. It really is. It's a, it's a smaller place, but uh, they have great service. The food's good. It's really intimate. Yeah, I go there quite yeah. often. I like it. Uh, another good show, Rockin' Hair, if you're out in the Sacramento Valley at the Ace of Spades, Friday, July 20th, 6.30 p.m. Yee! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> got the... Uh, what do we got over here? Where are they? I'm going to write that down. Hold on a second. It's Duncan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thought I bet you announced that one properly. <laughs> yes. Totally. So that'll be fun. That'll be a hot one out there still, too. So no jackets, sweaters. Bring your doobies and your appetite. That's right. Ace of Spades has good food, too, and their their drinks are pretty good. And they have a good variety of, of beer on tap and in the bottles. So I usually go yeah, for the Blue Moon because that's how much I drink. <laughs> yeah, now you got to, hey, you got to, actually, well, speaking of drinking, uh, I joined Alcoholics Anonymous. Really? I still drink, drink the same. I just don't use my real name. <laughs> God, Clinton, my heart sunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I'm just a drunk. Alcoholic, think of the means. Uh, so, Saturday, July 14th in Walnut Creek, uh, Retro Dunky, a uh, nice little venue out there, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. We got an 80s party rocking, uh, Sweet Leaf, which is an Aussie tribute band, and, uh, DJ B.B. Hayes gonna be doing it right. Uh, don't be afraid to miss that one. Uh, and what we got going here? So, and then, uh, my crew, um, my Burning Man band and friends and our team, we're doing a little funk raiser, fundraiser. Okay, tell me about the, that. Uh, Sunday, my 22nd, we're okay. having a paella fest. Ooh. So, yeah, it's going to be at the Great Northern in San Francisco from 2 to 7 p.m. So, great afternoon. You can sample all kinds of different paella. Okay. And uh, hear us rocking uh, the funk, soul, R&B, and... Uh, it's our fundraiser, you know, for our, you know, we're, we are the biggest live music band out there on the playa. Yeah. And uh, just this year for Bernie Man, they've, uh, the Bernie Man crew has stepped it up for our people. So we are right at front and center, biggest stage out there going to be for live music, um, right at the 9 o'clock Esplanade. So it's, Now, what uh, dates are, um, is Burning Man this year? Burning Man, it's going to be, we're going to be out there the last, basically the last week of August, and our shows are going to run uh, Tuesday through Friday. Okay. So, th- there'll be more on the Rock Talk page for that stuff, but, um, you know, we, uh, we're we doing fundraisers, uh, we got a lot of money to raise Yeah. for a good cause, to go bring live music, entertainment out there to the playa. So, we have some of the most talented musicians on the planet, um, but it takes a lot takes a lot of work and takes a lot of time. Yeah, know. well, you're uh, virtually building a city. Yeah, we're building a city, but within our own camp, we're pretty huge. We have a, a giant public bar, so we have to, you know, we're actually asking, seeing if we have people that could help us uh, with donations for that, of course, whether it's, you know, monetary or uh, booze donations, beer donations. Um, you know, we're going to try to, you know, we feed everybody. This is all non-profit. Yeah. Um, but it takes a lot of money to do what we do, you know, our sound system, our stage, we have to transport, uh, we have storage, we have lighting, we have all this infrastructure that we do, power, and um, art department to decorate this stuff, to give people, to give back to the community out there that appreciates what we do. So, um, if you want to help support the biggest rock stars of the playa out there, <laughs> At Burning Man. Um, please now, what's the band's Pine name? FS, Great Northern San Francisco. What Sunday, ba- July 22nd. What band? What is the name of the band? It's going to be, uh, well, we're a collective of okay. uh, San Francisco's jazz mafia musicians and the crossroads. So we're a mix of uh, uh, 
chunk of Bay Area musicians. L.A. is a lot of our vocalists. Okay. And uh, our rhythm section kind of comes out of Chicago. So, All right. So if you're ever on uh, YouTube, you could look up Crossroads Live Music Experience at Burning Man, and you can see what we do. Nice. So uh, we well, go big. We can stick that on the Rock Talk Facebook page. If you Absolutely. haven't liked it, go like it. And there's lots of uh, great information. I post a ton of uh, different shows throughout the months, even stuff, you know, three months from now. And also, I just wanted to let you know, too, that um, I've updated my website. So if you want to check that out, put a ton more information on there, a few reviews, and it's uh, Rock Talk USA. Dot com. So check it out. Fantastic. Yeah, it's coming along great. I've been plugging away at it. <laughs> well, our summer heat has, uh, has boomed like crazy. Um, my vegetable garden is rocking. I, uh, I even measured my pot plants. They grew two inches in one day. Oh, my God. Wow. I know. That's what I thought. Were um, you out there talking to them and giving them love? Yeah, no, you you got to be nice. You know, Mother Nature. <laughs> my um, lawn disappeared. The birds ate it, and then that damn tree of my neighbors um, loved the nice rototilled ground and just spread seed all over. So I have uh, to do it all over again. I'm thinking about just getting sod uh, and laying it down. Go, uh, no, no, no. Don't grow lawns, grow vegetables, people. You know? It's a lot of work to keep a uh, to keep a lawn up uh, throughout the year. I mean, wintertime it's easy here. Yeah. You know, summertime in the valleys it's ridiculous. Um, you know, something to consider. Yeah. I really wanted a lawn. I know they look good. However, I mean, it's you know, only half my yard. Well, you know what they actually have, which is kind of cheesy ghetto fabulous. Is, um, you can get your lawns, your dead lawns, spray painted, and this paint products. Last yeah, amount of yeah. Time. It's so stupid, ridiculous. Yeah. But this is this is what the world's come to, people. Well, I don't have any lawn anymore at all. I rototilled everything. Remember? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was I just say, yeah. dirt clumps. Actually, there weren't any clumps. It looked great. It was just a nice little what a beautiful rock, little riverbed. <laughs> or something like that. And I'm telling you, low maintenance. You know? Yeah. You don't have to waste a lot of baby work in California. I know. I know. Well. Don't need your sweaters, people. Get yep. your air conditioners fixed. Clear, clear the brush debris around your houses, and, uh, and be conscious of wildfires, things like that. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna sign off and go chug a beer. Nice. Have one for me and Absolutely. sunscreen. Remember the sunscreen. Oh my God! Yes, I've gotta remember your sunscreen. Yep, yep. All right. Well, All right, thanks again. On, okay. Cheers. Talk to you next week. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. So that was Clinton Dye, our hellbent for weatherman. And we're going to get right back into the music. What do we have on the lineup, Jim? Three Led Zeppelins and a Honey Dripper. Nice. That sounds awesome. I'll take one of those. Maybe two. Enjoy.
Savino Wine Preservation System is wine preservation glassware. Savino is an easy-to-use wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy your favorite wines anytime without waiting for an occasion. Open any bottle with confidence, knowing that you can enjoy the full original flavor of Tuesday's wine on Saturday. For more information, visit us at www.savinowine.com. Today's wine, tomorrow. And welcome back to Rock Talk. I hope you've been enjoying the new and the old of all the greats of Robert Plant. I sure did. On the 21st, I went to see him at the Greek Theater in Berkeley, which is an amazing venue outside. Um, it's really a smaller place, but I'm telling you, it's a really awesome place to see a show. I haven't seen Robert Plant since, I think it was 1984 when he was with the Honey Drippers. And the Stray Cats opened up for them, or for him. And it was it was a really awesome show. I was a kid back then, and I had won the tickets off the local radio station. And at that time in my life, I was living in Chandler, Arizona. And it was hot as hell and miserable, but that's the best memory I have of <laughs> being in Arizona. Uh, I, I absolutely just fell in love with his new stuff. I had... Loved him before that, since I was a little, little kid. And I've just really enjoyed everything Robert's done throughout his whole career. And, wow, what what more can I say? I mean, he's 69 years old, and he still sounds amazing like he did 45 years ago. Um, it was just like a dream come true to, to see him. He's such a, just, he's got such charisma and 
I don't know. He's just like magical. Um, he did have a shirt on. Okay. So, <laughs> but he still looks handsome and he's agile and he doesn't look like some little old man. He doesn't move like a little old man. It was really a, a great, great experience. Um, I definitely uh, have to say that I gave the show like five stars. I've seen hundreds of shows, and that was at the top of my list. And it should be on anybody's concert bucket list is to see Robert Plant. I've heard chatter of he and um, Jimmy Page doing some reuniting, possibly forming the band again. I don't know. Um, it would be great. I know at one point after uh, John's death in 1980, he actually said that he was going to quit music altogether. He was that distraught. Um, but he picked it back up in 1982, and he did really well, and he always has. And I mean, the set list uh, at the show was pretty amazing. Um, he opened up with um, When the Levee Breaks. It was really, really cool. And I love his new stuff off Carry Fire. Um, the New World and The May Queen are my two favorites. Um, but the set list was uh, When the Levee Breaks, Four Sticks, Turn It Up, The May Queen, Going to California, In the Mood, that's by the Honey Drippers, The Gallows Pole, Carry Fire, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, Little Maggie, which is an old blues song, and he was just fabulous. I did, um, for about, I want to say a good 45 minutes, I Facebook lived the the show. So and I, I put it on my Facebook page and I don't I don't know if I put it on the Rock Talk Facebook page or not, but a lot of my friends actually were able to watch the show too. It wasn't the best footage, but you could hear how spectacular the show was. If you want to check it out, just go look on my Facebook page. I'll put it on the Rock Talk Facebook page too. Um then he he played Fixin' to Die, um, In My Time of Dying, Bring It On Home, Whole Lot of Lovin'. He did a little Santana, and then he finished it off with a little more Whole Lot of Love. But everything that man does is with a lot of love, and you can tell that he puts his heart into everything, and he is my favorite. So what do you think about um, Robert Plant, Jim? I like him. Yeah, I think he's really spectacular. He's just got this uh, presence that commands uh, the audience as well as he engages with each individual person in the band. And it's just the chemistry. I don't care who he's playing with. Um, it's just a really awesome experience to watch him. With every band he's been with, he's made a hit at least that you can listen to you know what i mean i, mm -hmm. I can't say mm -hmm. i listen to every song on every album of his but he does have a lot of good hits on his own that's true that's true you're really gonna like carry fire uh i want you to uh listen to the the songs that i sent you jim you'll you'll really like it and well, that's what i mean i gotta listen to them and over and over if they don't strike me in the beginning that means i they gotta uh, grow on me well, it's kind of hard doing this, too, and talking and getting everything. I know you're doing 100 things at one time, so when you have some chill time, uh, check it out. Um, it really is impressive. Um, I can't say... I mean, it's, it was just mind-blowing. It was a really good experience. Uh, and Austin Moe and his dad, Michael, uh, they were there, and... So, you know, it was nice to see some familiar faces and everybody. You look around the crowd and everybody was just having a really, really good time. And that's what, that's what it counts and that's what matters in life. Uh, it's too, life's too short not to go out and see your favorites. Um, you know, we've lost so many uh, great artists in the past few years and you know, time is short, short for everybody. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So get your tickets, get out there and enjoy life. And life is much more pleasant when you're enjoying music, especially live. 
And these venues here in California, we have uh, some spectacular places to see shows. Even the the small venues, uh, just the little clubs, or the big amphitheaters. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them. I've never had a bad experience anywhere. And there's, you know, things that are a little harder, like at the Concord Pavilion when you have to walk up a bit. You know, that's hard for some people. But I actually prefer being on the lawn. You know, you get your blankets, you know, you have your little picnic. It's nice and just chill. Um, So I'm going to put some information on the website about chairs and what chairs you can bring in. uh, And like the, you can't have a hard cooler and you have to have soft ones. So I'm going to take pictures of all the things that you can and then the things that you can't. So it'll make it clear because the website really is kind of, I don't know, not to the point. It It's really, you know, I've seen people turned away like you can't bring that in or oh, that chair is two inches too high. So I think some of the venues can be really particular um, on that. But all in all, we have a lot of really great places to see shows. So. What's up on the next set? Jim, are you there? Say it again. Um, what's up on the next set? Four Led Zeppelins. Baby, I'm going to leave you. Okay, well, we're going to get right back into the music, and then we're going to do the birthdays when I come back.
terra A nós Lá no ar
again it will be No, the course may change sometimes The rivers always reach the sea
everyone, I want to tell you all about an amazing salon. Joyce's, located at 132 Ferry Street in Everett, Massachusetts. Joyce's specializes in the latest techniques in coloring, styling, cutting, and beach waves. Joyce's features Sukesha all-natural nutrient products and organic color. Joyce's full-service spa and salon, located at 132 Ferry Street, Everett, Massachusetts. 617-387-6680. Specializing in you. And welcome back to Rock Talk. So I have the birthday list and we're going to get right into it. Um, a happy rockin' birthday to Greg Kinn. He turns 68 today. Tomorrow, Jeff Hanna from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. He's going to be 71 along with Richie Sambora from Bon Jovi. He's going to be 59. Then on the 12th, we have Alan Duvall from UB40. He's going to be a young 55. And, let's see, there's a couple more on the 12th. Dan Murphy from Soul Asylum, he's going to be 56, along with Christine McVie. She's going to be 75. She's the other blonde in Fleetwood Mac. And then Stefan Blad from the Jay Giles Band, he's going to be 76. Roger McGuinn from The Birds, he's going to be 76 as well. Marky Ramone from The Ramones. He's going to be 62 on the 15th, along with Jeff Carlisle of 38 Special. He's going to be 66. And along with Linda Ronstadt, she's going to be 72 on the 15th. I love her. She's great. And then on the 16th, Stuart Copeland from The Police. He's going to be a young 62. And one of my all-time favorites on the 17th, Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath. He's going to be 69. So a happy rockin' birthday to all of those rock stars from Rock Talk. And we're going to get right back into the music and what's on deck. We got Going to California, Immigrant Song, What Is and What Should Never Be, and The Battle of Evermore. Nice. Four of my favorites. Enjoy those tunes and we'll be back. Spend my days with a woman and kind Smoke my stuff and drink All my wine Made up my mind to make a new star Going to California with an aching In my heart Someone told me there's a girl out there With love in her eyes and flowers Took my chances on a big jet plane Never let them tell you that we're all the same The sky was gray. One that had tomorrow could ever follow today. Mountains and the canyons start to tremble and shake. The children of the sun begin to wait. Watch out. Say she plays guitar and cries and sings La 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 Ride a white man in the footsteps of doom Trying to find a woman who's never, never, never been born Stand 
Standing on the hill in the mountain of dreams Telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems Thank you. 
angry? Know the signs. Uncontrollable yelling. Why aren't you egg rolls? Hallucination. Sushi. Pants discomfort. I hate you, pants. Hangry. It can happen to anyone. Fortunately, there's E24, the app that tells hunger to shut up. Egg rolls. Thanks, Snoop. E24. In my medical opinion, it's the best mother way to order food online, baby. And welcome back to Rock Talk. I wanted to give you a heads up. I put some information on the Rock Talk Facebook page for all you Tom Petty fans out there. Uh, there's a 60 song Tom Petty American Treasure box announced to be released on the September 28th. Yep, yeah, September 28th. And all the songs in the collection are reportedly drawn from all phases of Petty's career with his longtime band, The Heartbreaker. So check that out. There's a lot of information on the Rock Talk Facebook page. And I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. And we will be back next week with a special guest. And uh, if you want to know who that is, you're going to check out the Facebook page, Rock Talk. And I'm going to put all that info on there. And have a rockin' week. And enjoy these two songs. And good night.